was a paratrooper and we went to arrest some terrorists. And on our way to our mission, uh, we went over a kind of a booby trap. I got shot in my uh, wrist and in my chest. I lost also three of my soldiers as team commander who were killed in an explosion. A suicide bomber came and exploded himself on me and on my officer. My officer died and I got injured very badly. It was make or break for these former Israeli military soldiers wounded during their mandatory service. But it turns out they are made to be heroes who have been able to restart their lives in a big way. Restart's mission is to help wounded soldiers to get out of the injury cycle and get back into productive life. There ain't no mountain high enough for 19 disabled veterans of all ages fulfilling their dreams at the annual Makers for Heroes event, thanks to over 200 volunteer experts. When I get down to the squat position, I go down and it stresses like this. 34-year-old Dror Zikerman wants to be a weightlifter with a goal of deadlifting 400 pounds. His team built a special brace for his injured leg to help him balance. Former paratrooper Barack Hazor can't point or flex his foot, but he wants to compete in crew for the 2020 Paralympics in Tokyo. He and his team came up with a special shoe that is fixed to the boat and allows Barack more range of motion. It's okay to have pain and to, to suffer this pain if you want to achieve something. Ohad Ben Ishai suffered brain damage after almost dying when a rock hit his head in 2014's Operation Protective Edge. He's learning to play piano thanks to wearable technology. It's micro movements that are amplified by that uh, bracelet. What's more is that these new ideas from the startup nation also have relevance abroad, thanks to Israel's Rayud Institute's TOM program. The magic of TOM is that everybody signs off their intellectual property to the public domain, which means that any solution created here belongs to nobody, belongs to everybody.